Hey, Dad, here's an interesting sentence. Pauline saw that her true love was in great danger. She saw that her true love was in great danger? Yep. It's another pun. I love it. The great sawmill scene. Look, Pauline has busted down the door. She looks mad. Yeah, and I bet the guy who's about to slice her boyfriend up never saw her coming. <laughs> another pun. Or perhaps the same pun in a different place. Well, let's see if we can saw the sentence into pieces. All right, once again, if the viewers uh, want to, they can pause the video and try it for themselves now. Okay, this one's easy. We have two clauses. Pauline saw and her true love was in great danger. That is acting as a subordinating conjunction, folding the two clauses together. Unless we saw them apart. Right. <laughs> Actually, that is a very interesting word. It can be used as an adverb, as in, it isn't that bad, or as a subject or object pronoun. And that is that? I see what you <laughs> did there. Yes, it is often used at the start of a relative clause. For example, the car that Janis Joplin drove is in a museum. It can also be a demonstrative adjective, as in, give me that thing. But in this case, it is a subordinating conjunction. Let's look at the parts of speech. In the first clause, Pauline is the simple subject noun, and saw is obviously the simple predicate past tense verb. Then we have the conjunction that, then in the second phrase we have the possessive pronoun her, and true used as adjectives, and then the word love, in this case is the subject noun. Was is the past tense looking verb. And it's also a palindrome for saw, which was the verb in the first clause. Ah! The human interjection strikes again! It would not be a palindrome. Palindromes are spelled the same forward and backward, like race car. Saw and was are merely anagrams, which are words made up of the same letters. Oh. In great danger is a prepositional phrase, so in is the preposition, great is an adjective, and danger is a noun slash object of the preposition. So, Daddy, have you ever seen the great sawmill scene? Yes, I saw the scene, and I've seen the saw. You're just trying to make this more confusing, aren't you? No, I, I'm just trying to answer your question, you're actually. You're trying to I've cause trouble. The saw. No, I saw, I saw the saw. I know I've you're... seen the scene. No, I've you seen are the so... saw. I the saw human interjection. The scene. You're the I've human seen... interjection. There are a lot of ways to look at these sentences. Maybe you found something we missed. Or maybe Daddy got something completely wrong. Or maybe you have a question or a comment or a sentence to challenge us with. We want to hear from you in the comment section below. We're not the grammar police. We're just trying to figure this out like everybody else. So be kind to us and to each other. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to like us, pin us, or tweet us. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out our other channel, Profs Pop, where we go on cultural and historical adventures. And there will be more good and well grammar videos coming soon.